So recently I've been talking about this thing with um, prosthetics. And uh, I have been looking at so many pictures of faces and you remember how, uh, if you're awake and you're watching other people's channels and stuff, we're, we're, we're talking about their eyes. And um, one eye will be a little bit off or a little different than the other one. So I know that nobody really knows exactly everything perfectly well about what exactly everything is and how it all perfectly lines up. I mean, we're looking at the big picture. It's not about the every little detail and about like why these people are doing what they do. We know why they're doing what they do, but, um, I'm just talking about just to wake people up to help them see like, okay. So little details to wake a new person up of the facade that's in place. So this, um, YouTuber that I started following is talking about mask.com. Okay, I have to do certain, you know. I don't know. Some other people can say everything that they want and there it doesn't happen of uh, videos being gone, but then it's it's really confusing. So I don't really know what it what how and exactly it works. They say it's certain words that, you know, affects I won't even see the A word. Um, but I've been noticing like every single person has an off eye. So I just was looking at Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> off eye. Um, and a lot of people out there are saying that they're doing something specifically to the eyeball. One eye. Which is the whole thing with the um, one eye symbolism. But there's this whole thing with the mask ah, stuff. Um, and I, I started figuring out how it would look. So I was looking at a picture of, um, Oh, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> I know a name. And then when I need it, it's gone. It's like always the way it is when I record. And I don't ever, like, I don't edit. I don't. You, you get what you get when you deal with me. I, um, anyway, so. Around the eyes, you can tell that it's prosthetic. There will be an extra crease and an indentation that almost makes the eyes in the corners look Asian. Um, everything I'm saying will by, uh, the, 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 the L word, the, to the left, to the left, everything you want is, the, oh my goodness. I never caught that before. To the left, to the left, everything you want. It's like, everything is just flooding into me all the time. Uh, memories, music, movies, whatever the case is, it's just constantly coming back to me. It's weird. I'm I'm a, I'm completely alone. Okay, <laughs> I know I shouldn't advertise, but you know what? I'm not alone. I mean, I got people around me all the time. But um, anyway, I folk. I study. I research. I this is all I care about. I don't care about anything else. I care about exposing this, and I care about truth. And righteousness. That's all I care about. Nothing else matters to me. I don't even care so much about having fun. I mean, yeah, I want to have fun and I want to laugh with you guys. Because we're not here to be just miserable people. Um, even though that's what they want. But I'm not going to allow it. I'm, I'm just not. I'm, you know, absolutely not. That's why I'm making all these cute little tiny videos to try to have fun with you guys. So if they bother you, I'm sorry. I, that's not what I'm trying to encourage and have fun with you. I've actually gotten some thumbs down to some of my videos, uh, recently. It's like no thumbs up and a thumbs down. So it's either a troll or it's someone who actually loves that person. I don't know. Um, but around the eyes of these people in the mask, you could tell. So these people are layering upon layers. So they can be fat. They can be thin. All of these things. And they can also be other people. They could be... There could be people that don't actually exist. 
So apparently Tyler Perry doesn't exist. He's not real. Will Smith is Tyler Perry. I, I have been studying and looking into this stuff for the last couple days. I I was already looking into it before. So why, how, what's, you know, every, I got to do a video. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but I just had these thoughts. And, and so also because of how my brain is, I just, when I get a thought or feeling, I share it. Um, which probably annoys some people that are like, they want these like edited professional videos. This is like, this is not who I am. I'm not about that. I'm about just, Hey, whatever is coming out, it's either from source, so, <laughs> source. I was listening to a new age thing today. Um, from God. And you know, I don't even want to get into all of that stuff. It really bothers people that there are some really good truthers out there who are in the, I don't know. I've talked to several Gnostic Christians and I've done some research on what's the difference between Gnostic Christians and regular Christians. One's in seek of knowledge and the other one is about repentance and sin. Honestly, I like the Gnostic angle because of the fact that it's not where you're a sinful person. I have still cognitive distance over Christianity. I do. I really do. But I pray every day and I have, I flip flop every day and I, I don't know, am, am I bipolar? Am I just schizo? I'm sure you guys are all say I am. <clears throat> and I'm sure everything I say feeds into their narrative or whatever they would want to eventually label me as, but it doesn't matter. You think about it for a second. So they could destroy one life. They could crumble you. But if you, they, they will never take my spirit. They will never take my soul. They will never take my heart, my compassion. It's, it's impossible for them to do this to me. I, I have been alone for basically 20 years. Let's just talk about that for a second. When I was with my family, I've actually, today I was really thinking about my life with my, my family, being raised in the, the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses. My parents loved me. I know they did. They did what they they did the best they could under their brainwashing and uh there was a lot of I felt narcissism. But I know that they were good people. I don't think that they were demonic people. I don't really think that way about them. I don't really think that way about anybody. I and then that that's part of what bothers me about this whole uh Christian thing too and I don't ever mean to offend anybody but how can you not offend anybody you're always going to offend either I can offend a Christian I can offend a new age or I can offend a republican I can offend a democrat a certain person of a different race you just can't you're walking around on eggshells all the time and one of the things that I've been learning is like I am coming from my truth and I'm not trying to hate on anybody. I don't even want to hate on anybody. I just don't want people to hurt anybody. I don't want people lying. I don't want people deceiving. You know? There's so much beauty in this earth. <laughs> and yet, it's just twisted. And to me, when I look back and I step out of the whole thing, I know what it comes down to. <sighs> it's because of Satan. And... Even when we want to nitpick about the discrepancies, like in the Bible, you know, Jesus a dying on a cross or a dying on a tree, we're, we're just, it, and, and, and all of that stuff could matter. But here's the thing, I can't imagine that, that this is just some freak accident that we were born into a society where we're, we're, we're slaves, we die and that's it, that we can have people brainwash and mind control us. And then you got these new age or ch YouTube channels who call these people Luciferians, who call them satanic. And, and I'm like, why don't they have cognitive dissonance? Because they're saying that they are gods. And yet, uh, I mean, it, I'm, I'm cognitive dissonance is all over the place all over. I mean, I have it every day. I have it every day. And I don't know how you guys can walk around and not have it. 
even within your whatever group you're in, you should be having it every single day. <clears throat> and um, I'm not encouraging that. All I'm saying is like, we need to come from love. We need to always be kind. Yes. Yes, and sometimes I use sarcasm, which isn't loving and kind, but what's so frustrating is that when you know that there is this sinister, evil, messed up group of whatever out there trying to harm, ruin, starve, putting you in poverty, all of these things... How could I not be sarcastic? How could I not be angry? How could I not be mad? How could I not be wanting to like curse and kick and kick and fight all of this? What kind of person are you? You're a human being. You should be angry. You should be pissed. And you shouldn't want to cow and cow. There's an, I am not a submissive person ever. I've never been submissive. I just think it's a load of crap. And that's part of the reason why I also wanted out of the Jehovah's Witness cult. Because it's all about submissiveness for women. Men are in charge and women are submissive. And, and even in Christianity, it's that kind of way too. And I've struggled with that. I'm not saying... Oh, man. It's just... It's frustrating. It's frustrating with what I deal with trying to talk about this stuff. It's easier for a guy to probably talk about this stuff than it is for a woman to talk about this kind of stuff. Women are not as respected, their opinions, even within the truther movement, I'm hearing how women are not funny. We're just not funny. I mean, don't go around and fucking label everybody. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't put me in a box. I don't want to be put in a box. I'm a multidimensional person. I've got layers upon layers. You don't know my past. I mean, except for what I've told you, of course, but you can't. Even like, even when, and I think about this when I deal with people too, because when you wake up, you have to start putting yourself in other people's shoes. This is part of empathy. You need to go around and understand that everybody was born in different walks of life, from different cultures, from different parents, from different religious or spiritual beliefs, some different secular, whatever the dynamic of that institution and families whatever so we need to be kind and patient with each other and I talk to everybody out there every time I'm around anybody I talk and I'm learning a little bit more about <sighs> calming down I get worked up yes I do I absolutely I'm an emotional person there's other people who suppress. I don't. I express my emotion. <clears throat> and that's, it's therapeutic to me to express it. And I think everybody should express their emotions. I mean, I don't think you should go around and, and freaking out on everybody and yelling at everybody and stuff. But I also don't think you should be a robot and always walking around on eggshells either, just concerned about every little thing you say and do. It's like, we're living in an upside down universe. It's upside down. And, and I, I still have struggles. I'm, I'm not blaming God for anything. And I really want all of you Christians who actually listen to my channel to understand this. I don't blame God. I just think that we don't understand the true picture and that maybe we're, we're uh, projecting onto God when it has nothing to do with him. And that is one of my own struggles. It's like, um, I absolutely believe there has to be a higher power. I mean, these people are worshiping the devil, Satan, Lucifer, whatever. So there has to be an opposite polar op, you know, side to it. And that really actually helped me to really want to... Um, believe in that and that also made me realize well if these people are luciferians and they're worshiping something but they're teaching the rest of the population that they are a god because these people i don't really think these people actually think they're god i think that they think that they're god-like lower you know demigods or whatever um and i and i you know, fallen angels, all of that stuff that we talk about. 
I'm not a hundred percent sure about every label, but at the same time, I, I get the, I get it, I get it. But I do have some frustrations about some things. Um, I absolutely do not think that you need to do what your gov says. Like I just no. Mm -mm. I was listening to a video talking about um, taxes, which I've talked about many times is the subject of taxes, and yet. Most of the Christians out there really think that they they have to. And I'm not saying you shouldn't, but I'm saying it's because they're so... You can't have... How could you ever feel comfortable with a God that would... I mean, I, I keep going back to this. It just... It drives me crazy. Because what I think really is that lot, things are being misinterpreted. Because no way a loving God would ever expect you to give these people all your money, or not all your money, but, you know, even a percentage for them to tell you what to do, put laws upon you. And I've read, I read, he was looking at the strong concordance for Romans 13 on the subject matter, and it still wasn't clear to me. It still looked sinister in my mind. I really don't think it was very, I don't, I think that that, I'm sorry to say, but who wrote the, you know, the Romans, Romans, Catholics, I don't know. This is all, <sighs> this is why it's so hard to talk nowadays. You're like walking on eggshells. Everything has to be politically correct. You can't ever criticize any other group, but you can, but you can be a target, but you can't target. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's so insane. <gasps> It's insane that you can't say one thing about anybody, but they can say everything about you. It's double standards. It's, it's, it's sociopathic. It's narcissistic. And um, I really have a problem with it personally because I have been so suppressed. And I'm still suppressing myself. Like, I have a client who I've talked about so many times who, who can say whatever he wants and he thinks I'm an idiot and I'm a gullabite. But I can't call him that because I could lose my job. And I, I you know, I, I know the dynamics of the power. I know that if I say, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? How can you say this to me? How can you talk to me like that? How can you say that your side's right, but I'm an idiot? When you're not even looking at my side, you won't even look into it. You're just going to call me out and say I'm an idiot. I'm a gullabite. But you're, you're, you're right. It's rude. It's mean. It's narcissistic. It's sociopathic. There's always all these other angles. And and so even with all of this stuff with my wakening up to the... I, I've even had some cognitive dissonance about attacking the globals, technos, um, every once in a while. Because I'm like, I can't, I can't actually assume that everybody out there, like I, I started like liking this one politician, Rand Paul, um, but it could be a distraction too. He could be saying all of these things that we want to hear, trying to do this for us and stuff, but I don't even know. It could be just like the world is a stage. So he could be a Decepticon. He could be deceiving everybody out there to make everybody calm down for a minute. Like there's hope, you know, when there isn't hope, you, you're just going to have to go and wait till you go Hassan chop. I mean, I don't want that to be that way, but I also have an issue with the fact that the Bible talks about, you know, guillotines and stuff like that, but why couldn't you just stay home? You know they're coming to get you. You know they're, what they're going to do to you. Why couldn't you just end it peacefully at your home? Because suicide is bad. Suicide is a bad thing. It's a sin. But them harming you is not a sin. I mean, it's a sin on them. But the fact that you have to let them do that. And what if the way that they do whatever they're going to do to you is more painful, more sick, more twisted. What if there's rape involved? What if there's whatever Carnage, uh, cannibal, I don't know. But why couldn't you just stay home and just take your own self? No, you have to go because that's what's in the Bible? Seriously? You could do it peacefully at home, but you have to go with them 
and probably get raped and tortured and mutilated. I mean, because they always talk about this universal law stuff, but where is the universal law in any of this? How can these people for universal law or natural law, these people have been hurting people forever. Where's the universal law? Maybe it's when you die, you go to heaven or whatever, but you're apparently still a sinner. So if you were brainwashed and you never woke up, then it's your fault, but you were brainwashed. I mean, do you see, I have cognitive dissonance about that stuff. I keep saying this. And then when I, when a Christian will come on, they'll start reading, quoting scripture to me. It's like, that's not helping the situation, quoting scripture. The, the situation is we're, we're talking about fairness. What is fairness? <clears throat> the first thing is you're just going to say we're all sinners. Well, fine. Okay. I accept that. But we're sinners because our parents sin and because of their sin, we're damned to hell. We're damned to hell and we're born into a society that is even more damning and more hard. And we have to search for God and look for him. But we're always being bombarded with chemicals and distraction and just trying to survive and make a living so you're not like in a gutter somewhere. Not everybody's like that, but um, some people really struggle. I struggle. Life has not been easy for me at all. I'll admit it. It hasn't. But my my actually, you know, it's funny. is like in the last, I don't know, seven years, I started really doing well financially. But in the entire seven years, it's been a battle to get there. And then all this stuff started happening. And then there are other people who were just like, you know, loaded, wealthy. They're all like into themselves and get, everything went well for them in life. But maybe this person will lose out on eternal life and I won't. But that's not my point. And I'm not saying that about them. And I'm not saying that about me. I'm just saying we're all judging everybody. We're all, we're all saying we're not alone. But we are alone, if you think about it. We we have maybe God and our relationship with God, depending on you and what spiritual... I mean, this is really... It's, it's strange. It's strange. I just care about fairness. I am so sick of things not being fair. I've talked about this when I was talking about all this narcissist and sociopathic stuff just in regular relationships. It's like um, it doesn't always have to be perfectly equal, but, you know, like if the husband's working, the wife should take the care of the house and the kids and do grocery shopping and cook dinner and all that kind of stuff. And if he, you know, it, it needs to be balanced, but if the husband goes to work all day long, and then he comes home. He has no relationship with his kids. He, um, it, like, okay, so when I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness, for instance, my dad worked full time. He was an iron worker. And then he was also a full time elder in the congregation. And he was a um, full time minister. And he had kids and a wife. Okay, so. The man's time was so full, but it was so centered around preaching. And then he would have elders meetings and all of this stuff, which is fine and everything. But when you realize he wasted his life on a cult and then he also lost all of his kids. I mean, the only child that has any relationship with him is his son, who is in New York, and he's not. But uh, his other three kids don't talk to him. I don't talk to him. Not, you know, he, well, they're shunning me. But, and then my two other siblings, who I haven't talked to in a long time. And my son talks to them. But <laughs> my son, I mean, this religion is so dysfunctional that every, you know, they just shun you and hate you because they think you're a demon worshiper. So I also have a problem with people out there who are in the Christian community, especially in the YouTuber community, calling people demons. I've said this before and I do it. I, I'm guilty of it too. And I, and I don't want to participate. And then you like, I really, sometimes I think that the only way to actually have 
any success in this life is to get off the grid, stop listening to the government, and find your own way spiritually. You know, if you were living by yourself and you never had a Bible, you had a family and you never had a Bible, and you're in the middle of nowhere, how would you know about the Bible? You wouldn't. I've talked about this in, in like indigenous tribes that are isolated and shelter. I'm sure every single person on the planet probably has been around, even like in these cannibal tribes or whatever, and like whatever, you know. But they don't get close enough to people. So how are these people going to find Jesus when they're going to kill you? I mean... So, and then I've talked to Christians about this and they're like, well, when they die, they'll have to answer for whatever. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not making a mockery of Christianity and I'm, I'm still, I'm still invested in it. I seriously am, but I still have some cognitive dissonance and I still have some questions and I shouldn't get hate for it. Okay. What I need is like, um. People comment and they'll, they'll tell me to listen to this pastor. They'll tell me to look at this. I just want to, I just, it's just going to hit me when it hits me. Okay. So, but I am awake to all the agendas and so far Christianity is the only thing that makes any sense to me at all. But I do have cognitive dissonance about some of the things in the Bible and maybe it's the interpretation. Who knows? I mean, everybody interprets things differently. Some people say that Jesus died on a cross and some people would say he died on a tree, you know? And then some people say, well, he had an arch. So it's not that that is a really a big deal, but it tells you something. It tells you something. If you can't get that straight, how do you know that you have everything else right about it? So we're all going to project that, that person's got it wrong or this or that and you're going to think you're right and I'm wrong and this person's wrong and you're right or whatever. We're just going to go back and forth, yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> I think we need to stop blaming and try to be loving and kind and don't condemn people. I, I'm getting sick and tired of people saying, repent or go to hell. That's awful. Don't say that to anybody. Are you kidding me? These people are in a situation where they're destitute and you're going to tell them to repent or go, go to hell. When, if a person's awake and they know what the government's doing, I've read comments. I know what people are saying on YouTubers that are Christian channels or YouTubers that are just awake channels or whatever. It sounds like God is evil. It really sounds evil. If you can't understand that, I mean, you're, I'm not saying he's evil, but if you're putting out there that energy to those people who are like trying to figure shit out and some Christians cuss and some people don't, some people are anal and retentive about everything. Other people are a little more lax and chill. I remember I had a client who was a Christian who we became pretty good friends and then it something went went left. Um something went left. See, even that expression just sounds awful. Um you take the right path or you take the left path. I'd rather take the right path. Or the center path. The narrow path? The narrow path. Yes, that's a that's the path to take. But she would wear shirts. Like she was wearing a Deadpool t shirt from the movie Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. And it had a middle finger and said F the F word on it. I'm like, why are you're a Christian and you're wearing that? And this person like smoked pot and was really kind of from the hippie. I guess they used to be heroin addicts, this person. Um, from a long time ago, but then they became Christian and, you know, but they still had a lot of stuff about them that was just, and I wasn't a Christian. I wasn't even thinking about Christianity. I just have been questioning things ever since I woken up about, um, well, my phases of after I left the Jehovah's Witness religion was, you know, I dug into New Age. I dug into atheism. Those were my options. So New Age, I kind of put that in Hindu and 
and Buddhists also. I kind of put it all into one category. Witchcraft, paganism, whatever. Um, I was just trying to figure stuff out. But I just think people need to calm down. We're trying to wake people up. And one thing that God is... If, if 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 it's not obvious, is patient. I mean, the fact that this has gone on for how long? Um, but one thing that I really want to talk about, too, is one of the YouTubers I was listening to made his comment about how in each family, you know how uh, you'll have Junior or you'll have, like, say, Ed Junior or you'll have Ed the Third, Edward the Third, Edward the Fourth, Edward the... You never get to the Fifth. This guy had a theory. He says, well, if people really like naming their kids after each other, you know, like you want your child to have your name and then you give it to the next one and so on and so on. Why do we only go up to like four? We never, it's like the third or the fourth is, is like the most. Why isn't there a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, 20, 30, 100? For, he was basically saying like people are, he's saying that the earth is so much younger than you could ever imagine it to be. And I and I was thinking about that. It's like, what if the year is the earth is less than a thousand years old? What what if this is like all of these people, like let's just say that we have I mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm just throwing some stuff out. I have a very imaginative mind and I, <clears throat> but the truth is none of us know the full true history. Everything has been archived and who owns it? The Smithsonian or the anything that's government owned has it. You don't have any access to anything. And if you do get access to it, do you know if it's true? You don't. You don't. I I just think that we should calm down and we should pray and love each other and be kind. Wake, keep, wake everybody up to the deceptions, but we should not be projecting hatred and telling them they're, they're going to go to hell. You know, we can say that, yeah, there's only two genders. Let's talk about that. Why explain it biologically? Why there's only two to show them the obvious, you know, like... This this world is just so so irritating. But anyway, <clears throat> I love you guys very much. I'm not gonna give up on my channel, and I'm not gonna give up on you guys. And I, I'm, I hopefully I'll get better with explaining. Maybe I'll calm down. Um, I have always been a very excitable person. I do get worked up. I do get emotional. I can cry at a heartbeat. <laughs> I am not an actor. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people call it an empath. I'm very sensitive to energy, feelings, people around me. I cry at everything. if Or I laugh at everything. I mean, I'm a full spectrum person. And those are the kind of people that I kind of want in my life. I want people who are truly genuine and real. And who actually have a heart. And I know i got some lovely people on my YouTube channel, so... But one thing you guys all need to do is just laugh. Laugh, laugh. Oh, it's 33 minutes and 44 <laughs> on my phone. Uh, I always think it's funny because 33 it just pops up all the time. All right. Well, I love you guys very much. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.